This is your uncertified public address announcer coming to you live from Cadet Stadium. This being Ed Remus's final appearance, I'm sure that we're going to see a large crowd today. Well, that's a little awkward, but let's go to Lou Scally for today's weather. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Thanks, Lou, but I think you mean ain't no sunshine when he's gone. Anyway, we were supposed to have a live interview with the legend Ed, Eddie Remus, but we can't seem to find him. Let's throw it over to Johnny Bo to see if he's in his office. Hey, Eddie, you here? Ed, we're looking for you. You looking for the new athletic director? Oh, um... Well, that was more awkward than having a Yankees pitcher's glove check during the middle of a game. Anyway, let's throw it over to the Mike and Arnie show for some more insight on Ed's career. How many years do you think Remus has in? Oh, he's got at least at least 30. At least 30. 30? Uh, I'll see you're 30 and I'll raise you five. What do you got? Uh, man, I fold. I got a hand like a foot. Hmm. What about you? Oh, what about me? Oh, nothing. I had a pair of gork. I beat you with rats. Hey, gentlemen, we're live. Oh, oh, oh. oh all right. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to the Arnie and Mike show. Hey, we're here to pay tribute tonight to the career of Charles Ed Remus. Well, that's right, Arnie. Boy, you know, time flies. I mean, it seems Ed's career seemed to have moved faster than slippery elm through a senior citizen. Oh, it sure does, Mike. Sure does. I still remember Ed's rookie season when he worked with that guy, uh, that guy Nate Skinner. Skinner. Oh, Skinner. Uh, isn't he the one that took his young wife to dinner? Uh, that's the very one. As I recall, it was dinner by nine. Skinner? No, dinner. That's right, Skinner was no beginner. Nah, he was there before, before dinner. dinner. <laughs> Remember that road trip to Boston? As I recall, we also we met his friend, that guy from Nantucket. Oh yeah, the man from Nantucket. I never could get Remus to talk about him. All I would ever say is that parts of that man were greatly exaggerated. Let's talk about his dedication. <laughs> I remember him saying he would give his left arm to be ambidextrous. Yeah, he was something. I remember going to him as a young coach. I had to tell him that I lost my keys. Now, what did he tell you? Well, he just kind of smiled and said, Mike, man who lose key, get no nookie. <laughs> well, <laughs> did he ever get those keys? <laughs> oh, did you ever get those keys? <laughs> no, I never did get any nookie. <laughs> you never got what? I never did get any nookie. Oh. Well, one thing is for sure. Hey, Ed, you're one, one hell of a guy, guy and we you will miss you. you. Hey, you got, got two tens for a five? Thanks, Mike and Arnie. I'm glad to see everything's a big joke around this place. Now for a behind-the-scenes look at where all the magic happens each day in the world of our second favorite athletic director, everyone else is number one. Let's throw it over to Johnny. I can't take another day working with this guy, Bodner. So you want a behind-the-scenes look? And where all the magic happens for Ed Remus? Follow me. This is it, everybody. Wow. Look at this place. Yankee memorabilia everywhere. Papers, boxes, gear. Now I know, you probably ask yourself two questions. Number one, who the hell could work like this? I mean, look at this place. But you know what? If Ed Remus was here, and you walked in this place, and you asked him for something, he could find it for you just like that. I mean, for example, look at his closet. Are you kidding me? This is a madman who worked like this. Now, the second question you're probably asking yourself is, what's going to happen with all this Yankee memorabilia? Well. I've got the answer for you, and you're going to help me. We've got three choices. Choice number one, we're going to ship all this Yankee memorabilia to the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. Second option, we're going to take all this Yankee memorabilia and we're going to ship it to Monument Park at Yankee Stadium. And the third option is we're going to take all this stuff and we're just going to chuck it in a Frederick High dumpster. And the answer is, we're going to chuck it in a Frederick High dumpster. So who's with me, everybody? Let's go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still trying to locate Ed Remus for his live interview. I'm getting an update from the studio. 
it seems that Ed Remus is live right now at the MVL banquet, or is it the F10 banquet, or is it the CMC banquet, whatever they're going to call it. Ed's being honored by Mel Tome. Let's go live to the video footage. I want to dedicate this song to a very courageous young man. <laughs> When you're smiling When you're smiling The whole world smiles with you When you're laughing When you're laughing The sun Well, fans, it has been a long and storied career for Ed Remus. The only question left is, is he a Hall of Famer? Some say he's just a compiler. Anyway, from Cadet Stadium, this is Brandon Brubaker, where we are 27 sports, one team, and one athletic director.